right? Kafka funny. I'm not a Trump fan either. Does that mean we can't be friends? No, we can be friends. I have, I have a lot of friends that are Trump fans. Yeah, you don't have to be a Trump fan. I'm not a Trump fan, right? But for some some reason, people think if if you um, what do you call it? Uh, if you don't trash talk Trump, that means you're a Trump fan. It's like if you don't hate someone, then you love them. <laughs> it's like what? I think. Uh, like if you don't agree with someone's hate on someone then you must like those people it's it's the weirdest thing trump derangement syndrome is a real phenomenon right it's very very effing weird very weird like just just to give you an example i'll give you an example right so uh nafta the trade agreement between canada united states and mexico Trump came in as his presidency and said that's a bad deal for the United States. Some would agree with that, right? I'm in Canada. Uh, great for American corporations, right? Bad for American people, right? And he said, no, I don't agree with the dream NAFTA. We have to re-sign it. And Canada and Mexico, because the United States is their main uh, customer, they, they signed a new agreement. With the new agreement, the copyright laws in Canada got changed, right? So anything that was supposed to come up to the public domain will no longer be coming up to the public domain for another 25 years or something like this, right? I looked at or 40 years. So it extends it. So stuff that was supposed to come to the public domain this year is 25 years from now or 40 years from now or some shit like this, right? And so U.S. corporations are going to make a shit ton of money. And Canadians are going to pay. A heavy price for that because knowledge pure information is not going to come to the public domain for that amount of time that way that means uh, uh, like stuff that the public can use may it be medicine may it be uh, technology may it be books poetry whatever it is is going to be put on the back burner where large corporations can siphon more money out for another 40 years so that's going to cost us canadians money okay it'll, it'll it'll cause deaths because people won't be able to get their hands on certain knowledge right so i mentioned this to a friend of mine and the guy goes you like trump you you love trump you're a trump supporter i go what <laughs> what are you talking about like we got a raw deal in canada we got screwed he goes that's what trump said i go oh okay i didn't know that you, you're a Trump supporter. I'm like, dude, I didn't know Trump said that. You just have to read the agreement and go, oh, that's what's going to happen. And he flipped out. He flipped out, right? That's Trump derangement syndrome, where the truth makes people flip out because there's a name associated with it. Or that person might have said the same thing that you're saying. That's Trump derangement syndrome. Sorry, I went off on politics there a little bit. Just have to explain what Trump derangement syndrome is, right? Uh, 